Hey guys, and welcome to the fifth video of my Learn to Play Jungle series. I honestly never thought I'd make a video on Graves because of how hard Riot gutted him, but recently he's seen a lot of indirect buffs, and that pretty much made him another top tier jungler again. Graves was kind of the champion I got known for when I did my unranked to challenger stream where I went like 51 and 5 solo, so I honestly feel as if I'm very good at explaining his different playstyles, and I hope I can showcase that with this video. Similar to the Vi setup, attack speed quints and lethality reds are a must. You can exchange a few attack speed quints for lethality if that makes you feel more comfortable, but you'll most likely end up with 19% attack speed at level 1. You can take a mixture of armor and health per level yellows or just simply all scaling health depending on the jungle matchup. And finally, CDR per level blues are optional as you do end up building a lot of CDR with your items. For Masteries, you'll be going 12, 18, and 0. I used to run Warlords with 18, 0, and 12 after removal of Strength of Ages, but honestly with the buff to lethality, it's really not worth it anymore. Make sure to grab the Lord's Decree and manage to get it prox of it off with your Smokescreen, Auto Attacks, Blue Smite, anything pretty much. Furry and Sorcery are optional, but I prefer the extra attack speed to synergize with Skirmishers. You can also go double at Sword instead of Bounty Hunter, but this will make you less tanky in the long run, and most likely we hear late game because you'll probably end up killing every champion on the enemy team. I think with Graves is as simple as it gets. You literally just full clear every game. Your goal is to take advantage of all the resources on the map. So when you see the enemy jungler showing bot side, make sure to take a look at its top side or to dive top while taking a few waves plus the turret. Graves is extremely good at taking turrets because of his massive wave clear on his Q, so make sure to get as many turrets as you can early game. As for buffs, I pretty much take them all for the experience and gold they provide, so make sure to do the same things I do. Finally, make sure your clear is in a linear motion so that you don't have to walk back and forth between camps, therefore being inefficient. Just make sure to start from blue buff and to end at Krugs every game, while having your red buff warded also for potential invade. By the enemy jungler. There's also this cheese path that I sometimes do on blue side where I take the enemy jungler's red and gain top level 2 with a point in Q and E, but that usually only works on level 1s that are extremely weak like Swain. Graves has a really interesting auto attack animation that allows you to do neat animation cancels. The easier one you can do while clearing camps or, you know, while fighting an enemy with the ultimate is auto attack plus Q plus E. I normally tend to do this while clearing though. The other animation cancel I'm sure most of you are aware of is the auto attack plus R plus E, similar to the first one but might take some practice. And finally, auto attack plus Q plus R plus E. You can put your W in there but like honestly it doesn't really do much. There are a lot of other animation cancels you can do with the combination of your flash, but honestly those are also just flashy plays and not really worth it in the long run. Just realize that you can cancel the recoil of your ultimate by flashing, similar to this clip by GBM. There are two viable Graves builds that I've seen recent success with. The first one I call Frontline Graves, where you want to be the initiator of your team, as you want to absorb as many cooldowns and abilities from the enemy team, giving your team free reign in fights while managing to slip away with minimal health. The second one I call Janitor Graves, where you want to clean up fights and be more of a backliner. This works well when you have a tanky top and or a support. Items like Mercurial Scimitar and Guardian's Angel are always situational for junglers depending on enemy team's champions. As for when you go Bloodthirster over Death Dance, it's pretty much dependent on the enemy team. If you have more melee champs on the enemy team with minimal range, then it's optimal to go for Bloodthirster, and if you have longer range, then it's better to go for Death Dance. In conclusion, Graves is without a doubt the best carry jungler in the game as of path 7.2 if you manage to ban Kha'Zix and Rengar. Make sure to be as farmed as possible if you want to be relevant in split pushing or team fighting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.